everyone this is rakesh you once again welcome to the session of oracle sql so guys in our last session what we have seen we have seen the what is set operator and what are the types of set operator available in the oracle database now we are going to pick one set operator which is nothing but your union set operator yes that is a topic which we are going to discuss in this session so let's understand what exactly the union operator is so guys union operator is nothing but it is used to combine the output of the two queries or more than two queries now let's understand how exactly it will combine so let's say for example if i have one query called as this one and the output of that query will be as you can see on the screen this is the graphics form okay now over here i have one another query that is called as a this one and the output of that query will be this one okay assume that i have two circles over here now if i will apply the union operator then what it will give it will give the this output so this is nothing but your union operator over here you need to take care one thing union operator will remove all the duplicate rows so let's say for example if you have one um, uh, row uh, in the my first query and same row i have in the uh, second query then what it will do when i apply the union operator then it will remove so this is the only thing you have to take care and union operator will give the uh, rows from both the query so whatever uh, rows available in the first query and whatever the rows are available in the second query it will just simply combine and it will just remove the duplicate rows so that is nothing but your uh, union operator so guys i hope you have understood what exactly the union operator is so in short what i can say that union operator is nothing but it will combine the output of two query and it will remove the duplicate values so that is nothing but your union operator now let's go for the practical so guys let's see practical examples of the union set operator over here first we will see what are the queries which we are going to use in our example so let's see so guys as you can see on the your screen this is my first query and this is my second query and output of this my second query is nothing but this one and the output of my first query is this one you can see on the your screen 10 20 and 40 and in the second query the output is this one you can see 10 20 30 40 this is the output of this query okay guys now if i want to join both the output using the union operator then how i can join i can join like this as you can see on the your screen i need to use the union operator in between both the query okay so if i will join both the query using the union set operator then what it will do it will join both the output this output and this output but the thing is that it will give unique rows okay means what it will do it will remove this 20 uh, 10 20 and 40 and it will give only once because over here 10 20 and 40 is there so over here what it will do it will give only unique rows whatever the duplicate rows it will remove so let me fire and let me show you over here so as you can see over here this row is comes only one you can see over here 10 row is over here and 10 row is also over here so what it will give in the output table it will give only this row once okay means it removed the duplicate row over here 20 also duplicate or twice so it removes the one row and it will give only one you can see over here this one and this one over here 30 is only one so it no problem over here there is no need to remove so only it gives over here one you can see over here 30 is not in the my second uh, first table okay and same with the 40 department so what union operator will do union operator will remove the duplicate row from the output table okay so this is all about the union operator now over here you need to take care few things the number of column in my first query and the number of column in the my second query should be same and the data type of this column should be same over here and over here okay so whatever the data type you are using over here same data type you have to use over here however the name can be anything over here i can use manager id as well so let me use and let me show you example
so as you can see over here manager id i used and it is giving proper uh, results over here since row was not duplicate so it didn't remove over here so all the seven rows are coming you can see over here this is unique row and this is also unique row so what it gives sorry over here i need to use the over here i need to use the manager id instead of this manager id i have to use you can see over here output of the my first query is this one and output of my second query is this one if i will join both the query then it is giving this output let me run entire query so you can see over here so this is how union set operator join both the output so guys i hope you have understood now little bit more now let me tell you one more thing over here guys in this query inside this query inside this query you cannot use the order by clause let me use over here so what i will do i will use like this and let me run over here this query so you cannot use like this means if i am writing the order by class uh, like this it means i am writing order by class for this query second query okay but you cannot use like this you can see over here i will get the one error so as you can see on the screen this is the output i got okay and this is nothing but your error so what i need to do i need to write the order by clause for the entire query means this entire query okay so if i will write like this then it will give proper output so guys i hope you have understood what exactly this uh, union operator now let's go for the practice And guys if this video helps you in any ways then don't forget to subscribe my channel for the upcoming videos and if you have query input then please don't forget to put that query into the comment box okay thank you so much for watching for the video bye bye take care